And we're still in the cave, bitches. That we are. Oh, and before I move, I want to show you that I uh, have reallocated Lynx's elements. Uh, Kerbalus on everyone in, uh, on every slot in level one. Whatever. Green attack elements, not healing elements. Green attack elements on every slot. Whatever. Up to that. Oh, and uh, by the way, forever zero. Oops, I did it again. Um, forever zero, as you just saw right here, <sighs> is the level. Seven attack element for Lynx. Um, after we defeated the Black Dragon, um, every character's level uh, ha has a new level seven element slot. Um, so, yeah, Forever Zero just magically appeared. Um, Whatever. And with um, with Fargo, <laughs> um, his invincible attack, his level seven attack, uh, was always um, was always in my element list. But uh, you know. Uh, I had to play, um, the auto-equip didn't, um, uh, didn't equip it, it equipped it, it equipped the level 7 summon instead. Um, it pooted out. So, yes, anyway. Uh, hey guys, it's Zach, and welcome to episode 79 of Let's Play Chrono Cross. In the last episode, uh, defeated the Black Dragon, and, uh, stole the Black Plate, awesome, got the Black Relic, and then, uh, we took, we, we did the, uh, riddles of the Cryo Sphinx here. I'm so sick of this white. But Griffin thing. <laughs> <sighs> and uh, now I'm back here again because I want to get that awesome accessory called the sunglasses, which ups my attack power. Not just my attack power, my the power of both attacks and elements immensely. And protects you from UV. Right. While you're at it, uh, you can also try and get a rainbow shell from them. I've gotten an Identidra in the past. Um, but you are welcome to still try and get a rainbow shell. I hope I get one now. Um, the whatever. Is that Spanish? I don't. Know. <laughs> I'll say is thou canest not answer my question. Okay. Male fact. No, that is not Spanish. <laughs> Good lord. Well, I saw es. I don't know. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> then, then what uh, do I have with thee? Be gone from my sight. I, I'm not even gonna. Remember. Yeah. Okay. So basically, now he's just kind of. You know, you know, mad that uh, we chose not to answer his stupid riddles again. Um, please work. Yes, what did I get? I got a Denadrite. Okay, so, I don't know. Maybe you can get a rainbow shell from him. I have no idea. Anyway, oh, I forgot to show off the um, equipment. I've equipped Lynx with the... Um, I've equipped Lynx. Of course, he has the Master Moon always equipped. Uh, I equipped him with the yellow plate, uh, the stone helmet uh, accessory. Someone's the... earth bending. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, the uh, <laughs> what the the uh, the star fragment <coughs> and uh, power seal, which I remember I, I told you that power seal would be useful uh, that I stole from the dinos. Um, Yes, so, uh, of course, um, because I have the yellow plate on, as I mentioned before, it, uh, every um, yellow element attack will um, now heal, um, will now heal me. Or, or heal Lynx, Whisper. anyway. So. <laughs> Whispering, if you can hear me, whisper back. <laughs> so, uh, Don't of course, in the, the Crystal thing sub uh, always that uses... Um, um, oh, always uses uh, levels, uh, or always uses uh, yellow elements, so. Listen. Listen to the ass. Okay, John, you can stop whispering. <laughs> Listen to the wind emanating from your ass. John. Come on, don't be like that. <laughs> I still need to find out if um, Legend of Korra is still on. Or he's back on now. Oh, goodness, yes. Yeah, I heard it, it started a couple weeks ago, actually. The new uh, the new episodes. I will have to go look them up. So, yes. Y uh, yes, people, we are in our 20s, and we watch Avatar. And, uh, and Hey, Avatar is awesome. It is. I don't care what anyone says. It kicks butt. It is the best American anime there is. <laughs> Good description. <laughs> Especially for being on Nickelodeon. 
any more at ch channel is just. Yeah, there's just I don't know. Have you ever heard of a new show called Sanjay and Craig? No. It actually just started. It the the art style is cool. Um, and it, it's kind of going back to what like, um, to to the old style of animation in a sense that it's just like let's just do random things. You know, like there is like a flowing narrative um, in an episode, but it, um, but most of the time it's just like, oh yeah, we're just gonna do this. But yeah. random, <laughs> but random is what people have been doing, and it's so stupid. Random is well, for random, random is what we used to be doing. Like Animaniacs was random. Yes, but it was there was clever scripts to it. <laughs> True, but <laughs> but uh, but yeah. Anyway, like the first episode. Started off with a uh, and you had to be a smart, transplant. and you had to be smart to understand Animaniacs. <laughs> well, they made a lot of uh, pop culture references. All right. Anyway, I okay. Honestly, I, I saw one episode of Sanjay and Greg just to see what it was. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, well, something. There was a lot to that was really funny about it. That it was smart with. It's not something that I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to record this. But it's something that I was like, okay, that was fun. You know, kind of. It will take a lot for Nickelodeon and Disney Channel to redeem themselves. With me again. Yeah, true. They should go back to the shows that were in the 90s that were amazing. Ugh. Yeah, 90s television well, for kids was the best. Was the Teen is doing the 90s or all that still, right? Yeah, that's late at night. It's really late at night, though, and honestly, I'm not really watching it all that much anymore. I used to. I used to be, like, really actively watching it, but... Uh, have you killed this thing yet? You see it dying? <laughs> no, I really don't. It just stands there like, you know, like nothing you're doing is... I apologize. This battle will take a while. Oh. And also, for some reason... After a few rounds of attacking it, you know, level um, three becomes goes to 99% accuracy. So I have, I have no idea what's going on. <clears throat> I'm still wondering. Uh, I don't know, John. Are you, are you a little sober now? <laughs> uh, what? Are you a little bit more sober now? What do you mean more <laughs> sober? I've had, I've had more beer. <laughs> well, that's true. You have. I'm fine. You've had six beers already. <laughs> I'm warm and fuzzy. That's, That's it. Good. <laughs> Goodness. <And fuzzy>. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, I was just wondering if my reaction time to this game is a lot slower. That, <laughs> because I, I, I'm still impaired at the moment. I don't know, but my attention span is definitely lower. And this is slow as anything. Chris o Sphinx, thank you for healing me. Oh. Anyway, so that first episode of Sunshine Grid. <laughs> I don't want to hear about it. Okay, fine. <laughs> this battle is slower than molasses in an igloo. Why would molasses be in an igloo? Uh, because Eskimos like it. <laughs> Sorry, Eskimos apparently is derogatory now. Inuits. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, all the politically per correct crowd. You know, you gotta you gotta say specific terms and not others. That's weird. You know, you, you can't you can't say somebody's lazy. They're they're motivationally challenged. <sighs> Screw you, political correctness. <laughs> wow, John. <laughs> Was that deep? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. So deep. <laughs> Okay, so this is like my, my art project, and you know, it just, I mean, there's just so much meaning in it. <laughs> For those of you that, that enjoy uh, making fun of uh, artsy farty stuff, uh, look up on YouTube, this is art. By FND. Uh, yeah, I don't have a picture of a girl's boobs on it, that should attract. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly... That should attract that, anybody. That, that's how it got so many views. It, it, that I mean, should it, attract anybody. It's a anybody. really old video. I've seen it for years. But a few weeks ago, I saw John it because it was just so funny. <laughs> like, and you knew I would appreciate it because I yeah. hate political correctness and artsy-fartsy stuff. Of course. I can only take so much art, people. I'm 
feeling very warm right now. And <laughs> yeah, well, right now I'm feeling like this game is <laughs> very artsy. It's getting on my nerves. Right. Um. Uh. Yeah, like I said, this battle's gonna take a while. I'm sorry. I don't think we'll be able to get to this guy dragon in this part. Can you find a bazooka anywhere? Just no. Blow his head off. John, it's 1020 AD <laughs> that this game takes place in. What kind of a game is this? A game that, for some reason, likes mi mixing in um, sci um, science fiction with fantasy. Truly, because griffins and dragons didn't exist in 1020 AD. Yeah, well, neither did this. Neither did uh, Tengen, the cyborg. Wait, does the game actually call it 1020 AD? Yeah. Okay, well. Then I give this game some kudos for not being politically correct. <laughs> oh, I gotta heal myself. Um, yeah, uh, roll... Because they could have said A-C-E. Roll of thumb, uh... Yeah, when, you, when your health gets to, like, below, uh, 150 or below, good idea to heal yourself. Yeah, that's a good lesson for life. I'm gonna have to do it again real shortly here. When your health gets below 150, you go into a hospital and you say, Doc, heal me. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of this one thing at work. So, uh, this was a few weeks ago. I was working at the uh, the ballpark. And uh, it was it was a day game, so it wasn't at my usual stand, you know. I had to work at, um, first, uh, at, at the first base stand. So, I mean, the first thing I did when I walked in was th there were people... Big people were, sandwiches. Well, sort of, basically. Um, the, uh, there were people that were, um, uh, it was like a, it was a school field trip, so they already paid for hot dogs. You were a beer wench. Uh, no, they had already paid for hot dogs, so we had to prepare, like, you know, hundreds of hot dogs that we could just give out to these people. Because there was, like, there was, like, a school field trip to the ballpark. And, um... And they had no idea what was actually in the hot dogs. No! <laughs> but... So while I'm 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 there, uh, the the cook um, or well ex cook now because he had to move up to the um, restaurant upstairs. Um, but the the cook that I was working with um, at at our normal stand, you know, was preparing hot dogs with me. And at one point, he just he just yells out, "Feed me!" <laughs> you get it? Feed what? Feed me? Little shop of horrors? No. You never you never, you never saw Little Shop of Horrors? No. Oh man, that's a good movie. Little shop of horrors. Yeah, little shop of horrors. Of Feed me, Seymour. Of horrors? Horrors. Oh. <laughs> little shop of horrors. <laughs> oh. Please uh, do not get me started on that uh, topic again. No, <laughs> I've never seen it. Oh, well, anyway, yeah, the the, the plant. Um, uh, oh, does that have, uh, I want to say Wayne Selinski, Rick Moranis? Yes, in it? exactly. Okay, I've never seen it, but I, I know of it sort of. But Okay, would you stop missing? This battle is long enough. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's just fart out some green crap here, and, you know. Just, <laughs> okay, all right, you know, you know. Fart out some yellow crap. And, uh, earth bend some more. Anyway, um, the, the 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 premise of the show well, actually it was like it was a play first. Um, it might have been a book at some point because I think I remember a book about it. Um, anyway, uh, so the idea was that you know it was a plant and it liked eating you know lots of things like I I, I don't remember uh, like it eating clothing. Anyway, so Seymour was the one taking care of it and you know the plant would always be like feed me Seymour. <laughs> so anyway, when um. With my cook, who was also named John. Um, <laughs> well, it's a common name. <laughs> um, when he, when he. Uh... Oh, I finally it's over. Awesome. Never thought I there. Oh, I missed the first one, but whatever. Never thought oh. I'd there be humans who could defeat the Chryso Cryo Sphinx <laughs> by force alone. Never thought there'd be humans with the attention span to go through this. That way of life intrigues me. To conquer all obstacles with brawn rather than brain. Oh. But I warn ye, who? Yeah, we like it rough. Those uh, shall surely befall ones who's uh, ones such as the Fail. That's Yale. It was clearly a V, John. I <laughs> say it's a Y, and he's referencing a well, a mediocre university yeah. somewhere in Connecticut. I don't know. I don't know. 
He has a cool death animation, though. Yeah, he turns into confetti. <sighs> and I finished my beer. Yeah, number four. <laughs> Get to number five and six already. <laughs> right. Anyway, okay, so I got the sunglasses, so if you'd like to see what that is... I don't care, just get out of this cave. I'm sick of it. Oh, wait, um, no, I meant to use... Oh, I've had way too much beer. <laughs> I <laughs> feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and straight. Oh, okay. Da, 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 John, John, da, we're not making a musical da, here, John. West Side Story. <laughs> We're not making a musical here. Anyway, okay, so, um, the sunglasses. Where are they? They're at the bottom. There they are. Okay, so increases the damage done by all kinds of attacks you make on your enemies. So, that includes both physical and element attacks. And it protects you from the UV. Yes, and of course, the power seal improves attack power. Now, guys, off screen, I have uh, practiced defeating the, um, Sky Dragon. And just with sunglasses alone, without the power seal equipped, my level 3 attack with the Master Moon was doing 500 damage. It kicks ass. It's awesome. So I'm going to keep the power seal equipped because I want to see if that makes it even more powerful. And if it does, that's awesome. It kicks ass. So, yeah. And off screen, I'm going to replace all of my elements. Um, they, you know, they get back to normal. I want to check on my time now. And for some reason, I closed my file browser. <sighs> What other elements? Well, the the elements that I've um, uh, that I used to have equipped, like carbon and boron. <laughs> Not those kind of elements. And uranium. Okay, then. When did, I, when did I start? I started at thorium. One thirty-one this morning. Okay. Magnesium. One forty-nine. So it has been eighteen minutes. Tritium. Well, sorry guys, I don't think we will be able to do the Sky Dragon this part. Um, although he's also equally as easy now that I have the sunglasses. Cobalt. John, okay, we are clearly uh, not going to do the Sky Dragon in this part. Um, Potassium. Actually, you know what? I will just meet you guys there. Be right. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, I'll just meet you guys there. Xenon. See you guys in a second. Krypton. No, that's some... Screw it, I just feel like doing it now. <laughs> Sky Dragon! As long as we just get out of this cave. Yes, I'm going. <laughs> tired of it. <laughs> the Cave of Wonders. Really, I, I feel like very warm right now. <laughs> Copper. Of course, that's what beer's supposed to do, right? Or alcohol in general. Yeah, it makes you feel warmer, even though it actually makes you colder and dehydrates you. And it's weird. And it? gives you carbs that make you fat. Isn't it weird? <laughs> how, it, it, how it makes you feel warmer, even though it's supposed to dehydrate you and make you colder? It, well, no, it sounds... Well, okay. or, or is it like... Yes, it's weird. <laughs> I don't know. So really... Okay, well, I won't go there. <laughs> Running through the desert. No, I don't know if I will, but because that, because the earth dragon, or sorry, the water, uh, the sky dragon isle is right over here. Pick your domain. Right. So yeah, I don't, I'm probably not gonna cut it all. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Here is the sky dragon isle. Oh, and by the way, anyone wondering, you have to do the sky dragon last. Um, if you come to the sky dragon to fight him at any other point in time before fighting the other five dragons. All he gives you hepatitis. No, all the sky dragon will say. <laughs> oh crap! I didn't replace my elements. Yeah, you gotta. Crap. Re gotta <laughs> replace that oxygen with with. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is just do a temporary thing um, and get it back to. With the helium, and, you know, I'm just then you can. Then you can sound like this. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna put five over there real quick. Um. And, I don't know, put another heal there, and, um, yeah. 
Um, sure. <laughs> Um, yeah, Wh whatever, yeah. You replacing your elements? I am. All right. I am indeed. Um, sure, put fire pillow there. I, I really don't care at the moment. Cool, I'm just, yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I will f I will get my elements back to, um, to what they were before I had to fight the Crystal Sphinx again, um, off screen, because I do not remember what they were at the moment, and, uh, yeah. Anyway, so like I was saying, um, if you um, if you come to here before fighting all of the other five dragons, any one of them doesn't matter. Um, he will tell you to go fight the five dragons and then come back to him. He poops on you. Uh, there we go. Welcome, humans. I am the sky dragon of the white element. We know we've met you before. Big deal. Well done. Thou hast gained the protection of the five dragons. Eat, doo doo. Let me test thy skills to see if thou art truly worthy to enter the Sea of Eden. No one cares. <laughs> You're lame. That's actually awesome. Now, the one thing I don't get is, like, why is white sky? Because, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Like, y you would think of, like, you know, like, you know, uh, green, well, I don't know, green might be wind. Maybe, or nature, I guess. I don't know. Green is sickly swamp gas. Uh. Okay, so let me guess. This battle's gonna be even longer. Not quite. And that stupid white griffin thing. It's actually gonna go by easy now that I have the, uh, the sunglasses. And cool, we got the white plate from him. Awesome, now this thing is going to go by even awesome. So let's see what a level 3 attack does to him. 746 damage, holy cow. Much better. I get, should I be impressed? I don't yes, know. you should be. Okay. That was awesome. I don't, I don't uh, know. <laughs> okay, so without the sunglasses... He's and the, breathing... John, without the, sun, without the sunglasses and the power seal equipped, the most that attack would do is 400 damage. Okay. So the more damage to do, the better. With okay. just the sunglasses equipped, it does uh, uh, just 500, around 500 damage. All right. Okay. So that's you know, so, so I'm just like that. That's a pretty, that's pretty good. So much so, in fact, that he has to use a holy healing. <laughs> that's awesome. And of course, it is useless using white elements. But, however, we have forever zero to use. So Try hitting him in the balls. I'm going to use this, and I'm going to see how much damage this does because of the sunglasses. You guys get to see the awesomeness that is forever zero. Is that what happens when you divide by zero? Yes. I guess, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you can't do it. It just sucks everything into a black void of nothing. It's 462 damage. Awesome. Well, that was fun. I, yeah. You know. What the? Ugh. Can't wait to miss, <laughs> douche. Stupid Fargo. Stop missing. Well, actually, stop the stupid dragon from like you know doing things. Yeah. You want to see hair cutter? Hair cutter's cool. Check this out. What the crap? <laughs> His hair just became a blade, and he sliced the dragon in half. <laughs> I was gonna say dragons don't have hair to cut. Yeah, no tension. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, I get, I get what you're saying. Yeah. The, the actual hair cutter. I feel like these are Pokemon attacks. Like, hit him with fire spin. I don't know. Maybe maybe that was like an influence when they made this game. I don't get him know. with hyper beam. Tension. I choose you. Like, he's already weakened. Awesome. Throw a Pokeball at oh, him. Oh, wait. And the battle is... Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I thought the battle was over. Maybe you can Now the battle's over. Look at that. See how easy that was? All right. Well done. Good. Good job. There we got the white blade. Awesomeness. I am not an animal. And just like the fire dragon, he has a cool death animation. Awesome.
cool. And we get more element slots. Awesomeness. Now nothing controls the elements, and we will all be doomed. No, they're still alive. We didn't actually kill them. Oh. Saints. Okay, so I was debating between Grim Reaper and Saints. Saints is awesome, and so is Grim Reaper. They're, two, they're, they're both tied for my favorite level 8 summon. I'm not sure what summon I'm going to show off first, um, but I'm narrowing it down. Thy skills, I acknowledge. Shouldn't it be I acknowledge thy skills? Whatever. I will grant thee the protection of the Sky Dragon. Yay, we get the white relic, and that's the final relic to obtain. Yeah, you killed me, but here's some free stuff. Lynx received the right relic. The Dead Sea has disintegrated, and the gates of time have been opened. With the divine protection of the six dragons, venture deep beyond the pearly gates across the dimensions. Wait, Dead Sea is in, like, Israel Dead Sea? Uh, oh, maybe. <laughs> um, the Dead Sea was a, uh, is a game that I've already explored in a previous episode. So, anyway, okay, cool, guys, so we did it. We have accomplished our main quest of getting all six dragon relics, and now, as you remember from a previous episode, whatever episode that was, throw up an annotation, feature me. We have to go back to Goldove and see Stina here in the, uh, um, actually in the homeworld, and she'll give us the dragon tier, and then, uh, we could do some more cool things. We'll see what the dragon tear could be useful for. Crying? It, no. It's actually a relic. Or, it's sort of. It, it, it's an item. A anyway. <laughs> no, John. Um, anyway, so we're going to do Baby. that in the next episode. Go see Cena, and everything will be all fine and good. We defeated all the dragons, got all the six relics. I got the sunglasses. I'm happy that I can do 700 points of damage now with the level 3 attack with the Master Moon. Hey. And awesomeness. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you had fun in this part. Let me know if you did. Let me know what you're most excited to see in this episode or in this game. Please, I really want to know. And yes, in the next episode, we will go talk to Stina and do some more cool things. So, whoa! I've been talking for a while. I liked the boat. <laughs> Thanks, John. Thanks, John. What do you think of those birds in the background? Well, they've gone by about five times, so... <laughs> they're, they're clearly circling the island. <laughs> this is the small one. Anyway, like I said, thank you very much for watching. Please follow me on Twitter. Uh, and um, in the last 10 seconds of the video, my channel icon will appear. As usual, if you're a new viewer, you can click on that. You'll be redirected to my channel, and you can see some awesome videos. Once again, thank you very much for watching. In the next episode, it's a small we, world in the next episode, John, <laughs> John, I, I need to, I need to finish. John. Whisper, whisper, whisper. <laughs> Thank you. In the next episode, we'll go it's talk to Stina and do some more cool things. So I will see you guys then. It's a small world John. after all. <laughs> small, small world. Uh, okay. See you guys then. <laughs> uh -huh.